You're sinking into the ocean's black abyss, pressure crushing your sub like a soda can wind glow. A flickering lure bobs in the dark, pulling you toward a toothy nightmare. This isn't Finding Nemo, it's an anglerfish. The deep. Sees demon with a glowing trap. Think the ocean's just fish in waves? Wrong. The deeper you dive, the weirder it gets. And anglerfish found nearly worldwide are the freakiest of the bunch. Over 200 species of these Lophiforms monsters haunt the depths with bioluminescent lures that hypnotize prey to their doom. Their symbiotic bacteria, shrunken genomes, pancake bodies, and brace yourself parasitic males that fuse to females make them alien enough to inspire Hollywood. In the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, at depths of 4,400 meters, 47 statues of liberty stacked high, they thrive where you'd implode. Ready to plunge into this cosmic horror show? Let's explore the anglerfish's world on extinct bones. The ocean's alien depths. A layered freak show. The ocean isn't one big blue soup. It's a five-layer cosmic video game. Then the last. The epipelagic zone, 0 to 200 meters, is the sunlight zone. Buzzing with coral reefs, clownfish, and hammerhead sharks. Sunlight fuels 90% of marine life dolphins, manta rays, jellyfish, and just 3% of the ocean's volume. A 2018 study called it the ocean's bustling metropolis, across 200 meters, and it's a new game. The mesopelagic zone, 200 to 1,000 meters. Or twilight zone, dims to a spooky glow, with temperatures at 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Lanternfish and viperfish flash bioluminescent lures, while billions of krill and copepods migrate nightly to feed, forming a deep scattering layer that fooled early sonar into thinking it was the seafloor. A 2020 paper noted this migration. CHURNS nutrients globally. It's deeper. The bathypelagic zone 1,000 to 4,000 meters. The midnight zone is where anglerfish rule. At 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit, with 400 atmospheres of pressure and SUV on every inch of UIT's pitch black, food scarce, just marine snow-dead organisms, fecal pellets drifting down, yet anglerfish, vampire squid, and gulper eels thrive. The abyssopelagic zone 4,000 to 6,000 meters is a desolate plain, with sea cucumbers and brittle stars scavenging scraps. Finally, the hadal zone, 6,000 to 11,000 meters, and trenches like the Mariana, hits 1,000 plus atmospheres. A 1960 Trieste dive to Challenger Deep survived a cracking window, revealing a barren void. Only 20% of the seafloors mapped 90% of species are unknown. Could a meg anglerfish lurk undiscovered? Anglerfish, the deep's toothy terrors and glerfish lafia forms, are the deep sea's poster monsters. Over 200 species? From the humpback anglerfish, Melanocetus, Johnsoni, to the triple wart seedville, Cryptosaurus Kuiji, Haunt oceans worldwide, from the Atlantic to the Antarctic. Most live in the bathypelagic zone, 1,000 to 4,000 meters, where pressure's 400 atmospheres enough to flatten you. A 2015 study said, their adaptations are extreme for extreme conditions. Their hallmark. Bioluminescent fin rays, or ESCA, powered by symbiotic bacteria. These lures, dangling like cursed lanterns, flash to attract prey. A 2017 paper found, these bacteria, photobacterium, have genomes 50% smaller than free-floating cousins. Evolved to bond with anglerfish like venom to Spider-Man. The fish provides nutrients. The bacteria provide light. It's a symbiotic love story or a creepy. Deal. Anglerfish bodies are weird. Seafloor species, like Colophrine jordani, are pancake-shaped wide but thin. Perfect for lurking in sediment. As surface dwellers, like Lafius piscatorius, are laterally flattened. Tall yet narrow, slipping through currents. Their skins, so fragile, you could peel it by hand, yet their teeth depress inward, guiding prey straight to their stomachs. A 2019 study noted, their flexible bones and distensible stomachs let them swallow prey twice their size. Picture a 30-centimeter anglerfish gulping a 60-centimeter fish, its belly ballooning like a horror movie blob. Imagine swimming near one, its lure glowing tempting as jaws snap. Yikes! Parasitic mating, a nightmare love story hold on to your sanity, because anglerfish reproduction is next level. Creepy. Deep sea species, like Ceratidae, take sexual dimorphism to the extreme. Females are massive up to one meter, weighing kilos. Males, tiny, sometimes 500,000 times lighter by weight. If humans had this, women would outweigh the Eiffel Tower threefold. A 2021 study called it evolution's wildest gender gap. Males with underdeveloped jaws can't hunt. 
Their gonads never mature unless they find a female. So what's their move? They become parasites. Males have huge eyes and sensitive olfactory organs to sniff out females in the dark abyss where mates are rarer than a desert oasis. A 2016 paper noted, males sacrifice everything for reproduction. Once a male finds a female, he bites and latches on, releasing an enzyme that melts her skin to the blood vessel level. Their tissues fuse, sharing blood. He gets nutrients from her hunts, she gets sperm. Up to eight males can fuse to one female, like a deep sea harem. Over time, the male atrophies eyes, Finn's organs dissolve, leaving a testicle blob that pumps sperm when she's ready. A 2018 fossil of an ancient anglerfish showed similar dimorphism, hinting this freaky mating dates back 50 million years. Imagine being a male anglerfish, fusing to your mate, losing yourself, romantic or horrific. Deep sea neighbors, the freaky cur anglerfish aren't alone in the midnight zone. Vampire squid, vampire toothless, infernalis with glowing ink and webbed, Arms spew bioluminescent clouds to escape predators. Gulper eels, urifrinks, pelicanoids, with jaws wider than their bodies, swallow prey whole, stomachs stretching like balloons. Viperfish, chilitis, slony, with needle-like teeth and glowing lures dart like underwater demons. A 2020 study said, these predators share the anglerfish's sparse high-stakes ecosystem. Food so rare, every meal's a life-or-death gamble. Whale falls carcasses sinking to the abyss of feed hagfish and bone-eating worms for decades. Like deep sea buffets, could a prehistoric anglerfish, dwarfing today's one-meter females, hide in unmapped trenches? Why so weird? Evolution's deep sea lab, the deep sea's a pressure cooker for weird evolution. Scarce food favors distensible stomachs and lures to maximize kills. Low oxygen and cold slow metabolism, letting anglerfish live decades, growing slowly, a 2014 paper noted, deep sea gigantism and dimorphism solve survival puzzles. Isolation. In the bathypelagic zone, with mates miles apart, drove males to parasitism. Fossil anglerfish, like Austin and Soja from 35 million years ago, show early bioluminescent traits per a 2019 study. The ocean's 80% unmapped could, a 2-meter anglerfish fossil, lie buried? Submersibles like the 2012 deep sea challenger barely. Scratch the surface, risking implosion at 11,000 meters. These deep sea demons prove life finds a way, no matter how brutal. Check our freshwater snail episode, third deadliest animal, who'd guess? Till next time on Extinct Bones.